Good evening, folks. Welcome to tonight's game between the Pepperdine Waves and the Louisville Cardinals. Number one is the player we're focusing on in this game tonight. He's got great defensive instincts and phenomenal offensive skills. He really knows how to get it done at both ends of the floor. The Cardinals will have to utilize his skill to the fullest potential, Dick. The Cardinals are in for what should be an easy one tonight, Dick, but how do they stay interested enough to win this game? Interested enough, Brad. They still have to do the following things. Number one, the point guard has to be the floor general. It's up to him to ensure that his team executes and has efficiency on both sides of the floor. Second, get the ball to your big man on the block early. That'll open up the perimeter game, baby. And finally, it's imperative that you win the battle of the board. I think you're dead on, Mr. Vitale. Let's see what happens. Let's get this one started. Control of the ball. Down inside. Double team now, bad angle. Goes up for two. Doesn't go. Great anticipation defensively. Try to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. Gave it up. Jumps in. Perfectly executed. They go into the low block. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure. Just enough to force the steal. The ball goes out of bounds. And the great defense. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. On the dribble, gives it up. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Gave it up. The shooting guard takes the feed. From the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. That spin move's not going to work against the defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. They go inside and now back outside. I'll tell you, inside outside action always works. <laughs> Trying to feed the low block. A little frustration right there. Hamilton picks up the foul. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. High post flasher is open for the bucket. In and out. This team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're fighting each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. He takes it away. Here we go on the break. Hey, did you see what the mascot was doing after the last dunk? Was he excited or what? He was jumping all over the place. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. That wide stance and the drop step. I tell you, it's all about angles. If you utilize that drop step, it's like a reverse pivot move. Goes out of play. High post flashes. Now trying to feed the low block. 
He keeps his dribble as they reset. The power forward with the ball. How can you not love this game and the hoopla and fanfare that goes along with it? Wow, the energy is unbelievable in here. DeGroot is fired up right now emotionally. Hey, Brad, I love players that play with emotion. That's why I love the college game. Spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Stolen. Here they go into transition. Alley oop. Backdoor cut, and there's the flush. Great look inside. What a finish. Great vision. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Nick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. The Cardinals have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA. Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. He shoots from left of the circle. They just can't seem to miss. They found a serious stroke with their shooting, Brad. Intercepts it. He attempts the trifecta. What should they do here, Dick? I'd go to timeout and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. <laughs> Teams looking to get things going here. Looking to move it around the perimeter. I think right now they're going to focus defensively. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Time out on the floor. They'll talk things over. a change in the game plan right now, Dick. Could be. Got to be ready for anything if you're the opposition. Turns it over. Pushes it up. Long down court pass. Jam City, baby. That's a rib rocker. Hamilton has been negatively influenced by his play and the events which have unfolded here. Things aren't coming easy for him right now. He's in a rut. They come with a double team to stop it. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. And the fans are going wild. Hey, this place is remarkable. The noise is deafening. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. The point guard takes the pass. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. Way out on top. Control. He gets the layup to go and the foul. What a hoop. He saw the defender coming and tried to go right through him. The Cardinals go to the line for the first time in this game. Rims out. And a big rebound. Fill the lanes. That's the only way they'll be able to get some fast break opportunities. Great effort defensively. He says, thou shalt not enter my lane, baby. Get it out of here. I'm the landlord. They tried to double team there, Dick. They were just a little late on the rotation. 
The center gets the pass. Perfectly executed. Looking for a good shot. On the inside. He strips him clean. They're working around the perimeter. In the paint. Looking for the foul. Darling makes the finger roll. The power forward gets the ball. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense not allowing him to make that turn. Dick, they're ripping up the nets tonight. And they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. On the dribble, gives it up. Overplays on the pass, and he didn't get the steal. Oh, he's humiliated. Poor job defensively. Get that sucker out of the game, man. Number 10, supplying pressure and looking for the steal. He's got to pick and choose, Brad. Pick and choose when to go for the steal. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Well, the defender goes down, but there's no call either way. Wow, no call right there. I think that was a good call, though, by the official. The Hall has gone crazy. Welcome to Louisville, Kentucky, baby. Now working around the arc, picks off the pass. Post screen goes to the lane. He tries the three. This one might turn out to be a blowout. Hey, if it continues along this path, I would hate to see tomorrow's headlines. When you're one of the top ranked teams, you've got to bring your best every night. Teams are always looking to knock you off. Brad, when you're a top 10 team, you have to realize that teams will give their extra effort against you. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Guys, this is not the start he wanted tonight. He is his team's marquee performer, and his slow start could be a recipe for disaster. We'll have to see how his teammates respond to all this, and we'll continue to monitor it from the sidelines. Brad? Double team. And the ball goes out of bounds. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Coach looks on, focus, a lot of intensity. A lot of emotion. He goes for three. The Cardinals have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Number 50, pump fakes. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. He looks at the hoop. Double team now, bad angle. Stolen away. And a momentary look from three-point land. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. He comes up empty. Basket falls despite the contact. They work it around the perimeter. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. 
<laughs> They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Gave it up. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. Too much. That's a foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. There's the trap. Robs him of the ball. Working it around the perimeter. Dump it inside. From left of the circle. Goes in. Look at this last play right here. the perimeter fires away he's good for another score hands in his face anytime now boys <laughs> defensively doing a great job down there and he's winning that battle dick i think it's very essential that you establish post position by basket's good and the foul that's a big play he was there when he needed him baby This is the team's first trip to the free-throw line. Rims off. He cleans the glass. That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post-play because they were really anticipating the spin. He shoots from the top of the key. Gets it to go. On the dribble, gives it up for two. And off the mark. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Leans in. He puts it in with contact and all. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing. He's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. From downtown. Sinks it. Gave it up. He lets it go. He hits the shot. Cotton comes up with it. They work it back to the outside. Outside jumper. Makes the shot. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. Strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. 
Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I think doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. The ball goes out of play. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. Trying to draw some contact, and in and out. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Looking to move it around the perimeter from way outside. The Cardinals have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brady's on fire. It looks as though the students are all wound up and ready to agitate the opposition. Isn't it great, Brad? comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I tell you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position of spreading his body and getting the ball. <laughs> Up and inside! He shoots from the top of the key. Scorches the net. up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up. You get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. That's an ill-advised shot. I don't think the coach wants him taking that shot. Hey, Brad, you want to get to the line early and often. You end up getting your opponents into foul trouble, and it's also an opportunity to get some points. Second shot, no good. Makes the third. Side on the dribble gives it up. He fires away, way off target. Nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. Full house and a packed crowd, and they are into it tonight. I tell you, what emotion, what an edge for the home team. There's a double team waiting there. Pull up jumper from way out. Goes. Opportunity for two for one. On the inside. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. I don't even know if you and I can find a seat in this place, Dick. I'll tell you one thing, you get the home court advantage when you got a crowd like this. By the way, you and I have the best seat in the house. Turnover. And we're not talking out for turnovers either. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. 
work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. A great play. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Shot clock is dead. They work it around the perimeter. He fakes the shot. They work the perimeter. He's open if he wants the shot. He tries to knock down the three. The Cardinals have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. At the end of the first half, the Waves trail by 29. Best play of that half. Let's take another look. Louisville is having a great night shooting the ball so far, but you got to wonder, can they keep it up in the second half? Well, it all depends on whether they get too confident or not. Sometimes when players shoot well, they forget why. Most of the time, it's because they're shooting high percentage shots. If you don't take bad shots, you're going to have a high percentage. Start of the second half, Dick, our focus player update. What's he got to get done in the second half for them to win? I would run them off screens on the right and left. I would set up screens and have them pop out to shoot that trifecta. He shoots from long range. He gets it to go. Gave it up. Good job defensively. They just won't give many openings. Pressure in the basketball. <laughs> With a deep shot from outside. Gets it to fall. This is worth the second look. They come with a double team to stop it. And one too many dribbles and a steal. Now you got to get back defensively. Picked out of the air. On the dribble, gives it up. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. The hall is going ballistic. Welcome to Louisville, Kentucky, baby. Trying to draw the foul. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> the ball goes out of bounds. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. And that what makes college so special, the enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing. That big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. He drains the shot. He can't let this guy have the uncontested shot. He just got to dig in and play some D. Jumps into the defender. Drops the bucket despite the harm. in the paint but went elsewhere fake trying to get that ball movement get that good spacing freedom hall is going mad the hall has reached extreme levels these fans are ecstatic welcome to louisville kentucky baby Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. In and out. For the bucket. And off the mark. Get, 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 get. 
There he is, strips the ball loose. And a momentary look from three-point land. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. What a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. And we'll go to the free throw line. Free throw is good. shot is not good. Takes away the pass. like to get it inside to the low block unable to so far nice job of packing it in defensively yeah, really doing a great job packing it in then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass problem with that when you front if you don't get some backside help you're in trouble well you got to get help because you got to see ball man that's essential when you play on there and you front it off moving it around the perimeter on the outside got some room he launches a three knocks it down freedom hall is going mad Gave it up. Picks off the lazy pass. Whistle blown. Basket's good and one. That's concentration, baby. They're feeling good. The momentum is on their side, and everything is falling into place. Their body language, Dick, says it all. Hey, Brad, the kids are fired up and having a lot of fun. Count it. They scored eight in a row. Jumped in front to take it away. Well, there's a turnover situation. I guess most notable, the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestle, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. Free throws count. He wants to go back on that campus as BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. We'll get back to the action here after the timeout. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Here's a double team. Oh, what a strip, Red. Has it rejected? Defense did a great job with that block shot. They've got a shooter spotting up on the three-point line. Looking for a good shot. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's 
it's even more important to have talented guards up there. Yeah, that helps. Louisville are on a run right here as of late, Nick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Steal. Turnover. Great job knocking the ball loose, then chasing it down. High post player flashing. Puts it up, looking for contact. And he scores despite the hack. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block kick. I'm trying to three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. Takes the pass in the paint. There's the trap. He comes away with it. On the dribble, gives it up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Working it around the perimeter. Freedom Hall is going mad. Good second opportunity. Hustle, baby, hustle. Pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. Puts it up. He nails the shot. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Gave it up. Good fake. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. On the outside. They're working around the perimeter. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Time to pick up the defense here now. Ten seconds on the shot clock. He strips him clean. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. He goes with a jump hook. Can't get the shot to go. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. The Waves have a number of seniors in their lineup. That factor alone will definitely help their cause. Welcome to Louisville, Kentucky, baby. They let him get into a rhythm. Look at that spacing. Looking for contact. He makes the shot. On the outside. On the inside. Takes it off him. And a momentary look from three-point land. Top of the circle. This one's turned it into a big blowout, baby. Looking for a good shot. Picks off the pass. Working it around the perimeter. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. 
Diggy's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Stolen ball, and again, they look to run. The athleticism in some of these kids, Brad, I'll tell you, it's incredible. Moving it around the perimeter. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Double team now. Bad angle. Jumps in. Great play to take that to the basket. All right, let's check in. Third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad, the bench seems pretty confused down here. There is a lot of encouragement from his teammates, but they haven't found a way to get him going. And in order to hold on to this lead, they need to find a way and fast. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Let's slow this one down on a replay. The hall is going ballistic. Welcome to Louisville, Kentucky, baby. He fires from long range. Makes it. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Intercepted. Pushes it. Number three is pounded on his way up. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? I like it when the team gets to the free throw line. It shows that they're being aggressive. The key is to get to the line early in the game and often. It's two at the charity strike. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. They can't stop this guy, Dick. Want to give him a try, Brian? If only my knees weren't aching. Tries one from three-point land. There was no doubt about that one. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you gotta get help because you gotta see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Picked out of the air with a deep pass. Now they work it around the perimeter. He shoots from downtown. He knocks down another bucket. Down. This kid's got skills, Brad. On the dribble, gives it up. They move it into the front court. It's stolen. Running right at the screen again. What did I say? With the fake. The basket counts for the deuce, and they'll send him to the line. He's a meat and potatoes kind of guy, Brad. Was the made basket the meat or the potato stick? Hey, that was the meat and the potatoes. Now he's going to the line for the gravy. DeGroote steps to the line for the first time. Hits that one. The Waves are behind by 39. From the top of the key, he gets that one to fall. That's a foul. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. Looking for the foul. 
Nice shot. Nothing but joy and delight in the stands right now. These fans realize that this game is out of reach, Dick. That's what the fans came to see. Their team win. Five points, 10 points, 20 points. It doesn't matter. So he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. That's essential in a post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately block out and get good rebound position. In the paint. Tries for two. In and out. And the ball goes out of play. As we take a look here at our backcourt production. Hey, Brad, I'll tell you one thing. Productivity from the backcourt is a must. You must initiate the offense, distribute the ball, and score. These are all things that you rely on your backcourt to do. Takes away the pass. Is the bomb off the rim and no good. Defense giving some room. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position, has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45 degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. Adam. Momentary look from three-point land. There's a double team waiting there. Looks at the three. The Cardinals have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. That he's on fire. Alexander receives the pass. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Kicks off the lazy pass. Number three makes a great move to draw the foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Coaches love it when their team gets to the free throw line. It's an opportunity to put points on the board and potentially get the opponent in foul trouble. Got them both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. That was a definite blow to one team's composure. Let's see how or if this will affect the team. Jones in the paint. Leans in. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. They work it around the arc. Takes the pass in the paint. And the ball goes out of bounds. Well, Dick, what's the front court production looking like to you? Well, you know, Brad, your bigs really can influence how your teams play. Rebound, blocking shots, welcoming shots are all very important skills which your big players should possess. For two, perfectly executed. Looking for a good shot. On the outside. Goes up for two. The Waves have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. 
in the paint. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, good post play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing wall, wall fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. He tries the three ball. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. Moving it around the perimeter. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Trying to draw some contact. He keeps his dribble long enough to run his guy off the screen and slide in for the nice deuce. Shot clock is dead. Foul charge. And again, let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. There's a high screen. Picked off. On the dribble, gives it up. Jumped in front to take it away. Dick, we look back at our focus player, and he was the focus of the defense, I think, too, because he wasn't himself tonight. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. It's so essential for the star player to really respond. He didn't respond at all in a positive way, and it affected his teammates as well. Louisville wins by a huge margin tonight. With the difference in these two teams' rankings, the win was pretty much a foregone conclusion. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.